in studio guest this morning. It is Nate Peterson. He's the editor of the Vale Daily, and uh, Vale Daily is sweeping up some awards. Last yeah, weekend. Trisha, yeah, very exciting. Uh, we were down at Coors Field. Did not know we were going to win the big award, but uh, yeah, it was it was great to have the team all down there. And uh, always nice to be recognized for your work. I know. And this is the Colorado Press Association Awards. And tell us a little bit about this and, you know, what kind of stories you submit. You've got a, a, basically a year's worth of stories to choose from. How does the process work? So what I value most about this process is that someone else looks at your work. So press associations work together. So uh, this year, Michigan judged our, yeah. you know, our submissions. Um, we submit awards across a variety of things. We submit advertising awards. We submit design and photo, um, the ones, you know, on, on our end that we submit in the newsroom, it's stuff, stories we wrote, editorials, headlines. Um, and so we did win the big award, which is the Sweepstakes Award, which yeah. is kind of a, an award that shows uh, excellent across, excellence across the board, you know, advertising, photo and design, and the the writing side of things. So. I know, and that was the surprise for yeah, you guys. Because yeah. you, you knew about the other ones that had been released, and then you have the Well, they, they tell you you won an award, and okay. they just tell you to show up. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like the Oscars where it's like, you, you might win some. I mean, well, I guess they told us we're going to win an award, but we didn't know um, exactly what place we finish. And um, I, I will say this about journalists. Like, I liken journalists, or at least print journalists, we're kind of like um, hockey players that go into corners and dig out pucks. You know, we're a little gruff and salty. We might go in and get our nose bloodied or get some shots in the ribs, but there's, there's honor in doing that. Yeah. And so for something where we're judged, like a sport like figure skating or something like that. It's a little <laughs> odd for us. But I, I do think it shows that that process of the value of someone else looked at our work, looked at other, all these other papers' works, and they, you know, they said, you guys did a pretty good job here. Or, you know, and sometimes you wonder what they didn't like you know, mm -hmm. in terms of things we, we, we liked ourselves and then it doesn't win an award. But I think across the board it shows that um, – we did a lot of really hard work to tell a lot of really, really good stories. Yeah, and you know what? The Vail Daily does such a great community paper, beloved by so many, and, mm. and read by so many in an era where so many newspapers yeah. across the nation are going down to, oh, three days a week or online only. Yeah. We're still print every day. Yeah. No, we're, I mean, um, some of that is also this convention, it's it's tough to see how battered the industry is, you know. Um, there's just fewer and fewer journalists out there in the state of Colorado. Our big newspapers like... Um, the Rocky Mountain News is gone. The Denver Post is a shell of itself. So, but I also believe in the fight of doing great journalism every day and not um, giving into that. You know, that we, just because we have fewer and fewer people, we can't do great things. Yeah. And so, um, the Bell Daily is still kicking butt. It is, and you know what? And you're not doing it for the awards. You're doing it for the readers. Yeah, it's not. I never. We're not. We're not in this for participation trophies. We're <laughs> we're not doing it for awards. But I do think it is. Like I said, a valuable exercise to have someone else look at your work who's never read the Veil Daily. And it, it's not just one judge doing it. It's you know, it's a whole. I've done this before. Judging, yeah. I judge Kansas. I judge Illinois, where you might judge one category and it's one person taking a look and they don't know you. And they said, "Wow, you wrote a really, really good yeah. story." Or these yeah. photos are great. You know. Okay. So that's that's a cool process for any writer to get that feedback. Okay, perfect. All right. And uh, you can read about the story. Yeah. It was in the Vail Daily. Here's some of the members. And it's neat they were hosting this at Coors Field. So tell us about this. And So a uh, pretty big venue. Right. Well, they we hadn't had – this is the first in-person one they'd had since COVID. Uh, yeah. Remember, the last one was supposed to be in Glenwood at the Hotel Colorado. It got canceled. Mm -hmm. And so um, it was cool to get, get together. They had it at Coors Field. We had it in the club level – um, the award ceremony took too long, so we didn't get a field tour, which we were supposed to get, <laughs> oh, okay. which we were a little bummed about. But it was cool to be in Coors Field with, no, yeah. with nobody there and um, just milling around and seeing the baseball yeah. field. And then also there was a couple of seminars and educational things. So a that was a, a, a part. The, the award ceremony was on Saturday. Uh, this the, the, the stuff, the seminars were Thursday and Friday. Um, really, some really good stuff there, you know, um, insights from journalists around the state, people from Google. So we, we learned a lot as well, and it's always good to network and see what other people are doing around the state to get ideas. Okay, perfect. Well, 